I'm standing in front of these Aboriginal battle shields to say something about Mosaic's Voices of Veterans project. The idea behind the project is that in traditional cultures, in most traditional cultures, um, those who for whatever reason go to the battlefield and in doing that experience another world, a world ruled by death rather than life, a world of blood and devastation, which is often referred to as the underworld, as if the people have been under this world in an almost reverse world, um, that when they came back in a traditional culture, there would be a fairly elaborate system for bringing them back into human community. And, the, and part of that process would be a healing of some of the trauma that they have inevitably experienced. In the modern world, those rituals are lacking. As a matter of fact, in the modern world, a person can find themselves on the battlefield at one moment and within 24 hours walking the streets of a city. So in a certain sense, this doesn't really work. And I'm not, I don't want to speak for veterans per se, but I sure have heard them speak about the difficulty of coming back, the lack of meaningful ways of return. I rolled over, started to scan and watched a man stand. Then it happened. The boy rose up, gun in hand. Without a second thought, I pulled the trigger, and down he fell. I started pushing my way to the house. I got to the roof, and there he lay. pin sized hole through the front of his head, eyes open, the look of fear on his face. I held back the tears of pain and the hate and anger burned even more. When a soldier goes to war, the war is then a part of that person. I'm going to live with the war in Iraq for the rest of my life. We keep ourselves out. We train ourselves to be gone where when you're actually out in the field, in the combat environment, you're not there. You see everything, you feel everything, but you're not there. You block it out, you blind it out. And then we come back and people expect us to snap right back to normal civilian again. It doesn't happen, it's not gonna happen. Voices of Veterans is an attempt to find ways um, almost the invention of rituals to help bring those who have been on the battlefield back. It has nothing to do with politics. It has to do with the human soul. And, and one of the core ideas, I think most people know that those who have been in battle often suffer post-traumatic stress. And one of the core ideas we have is that the post-trauma forms around a critical scene, a critical event, what I call a critical story in, in the experience of the veteran. And if that critical event can be opened up, in other words, the trauma of the event is captured inside a story that's being held inside. They're finding now as the last battle veterans of World War II are dying off, that some of them before dying are telling the story that traumatized them mo most. The, for the first time right before they die. And what we're doing is saying, let's have that story come out as soon as possible after the battlefield. Let's bring that story and the pain and the trauma into some healing circumstances. And then let's finish the process by bringing the veterans with their voices, explaining, describing, poetically encanting um, what happened to them on the battlefield back into the community. So at the end, what happens is everybody goes on stage and then tells the stories and tells poems about these traumas and damages and losses and the attempts at healing to the community that gathers so that those were sent, 
who were sent by the community into the underworld of battle return to the community and find some healing by sharing their stories, by actually spreading or giving out their trauma so it's carried in smaller pieces by everyone in the community. That's essentially the process somewhat modeled on traditional cultures and their deeply intelligent awareness of the fact that those who have been in the trauma of battle need to be brought back into human community, need to be embraced, and need to be helped to find healing. That's the background idea of Voices of Veterans. I used to be a really fun, wild, and crazy guy. You know, I loved life, I did everything I could, and I had all, all sorts of fun. And then I came back and until this weekend, or this week, I haven't been happy, I've been miserable. It's like you pass this burden on to more people and it's not so heavy on your soul and you can push through more and you can carry more and it makes it easier. And when you take one person just carrying all this weight, put him in a room with 22 other vets, he's going to tell his stories because he knows that people understand. And at the same time, they're going to tell their stories. And by the end of the night, you've got this weight that is distributed like a blanket over a whole group of vets. And it's not just that one person carrying it anymore. It's everybody carrying the load. Trouble with facing certain kinds of death is that you face it over and over again. It comes back in dreams. So we know you've been suffering with this and being strong in your particular way. I want to give you this necklace of skulls to stand against the dream so you can keep asking why but not have to feel so deeply hurt by it because we know your nobility we know the goodness of your soul for you who have faced death but choose life wear this necklace in peace and strength